Hello everyone, Karen and CJ here. We are going to attempt to do a little coming one called video. Uh, this might be broken up into a couple different sections. I might show some other videos in this one. Um, and it might be a little shaky. <laughs> so I am walking CJ out right now. The trails are covered in ice. Um, I'm trying to hold his leash as well as talk to you guys. So <laughs> bear with me, all right? So if you have taken one of my classes, either virtually or in person, you know the rules for coming on called. And here's the thing guys, no matter what your dog, whoop, see, see, slipping. <laughs> um, no matter what age your dog is, if your dog is not reliably coming when you have called, no matter what's going on, no matter where you are, no matter what the distractions are, it's your fault. <laughs> you just haven't taught it enough. So every time your dog is off leash or even on leash and you call them and they choose not to come, they are learning they do not have to call or they don't have to come when mom calls. So you have to go back a few steps. You have to put them back on that long line and really work on, nope, when I say come, bringing them over to you or better yet, you going to them. Additionally, remember guys, I know this one is really hard. If you are calling your dog to you and cleaning their ears or ending the fun or taking something away like a shoe that they were chewing on, all of that is working against your coming when called. They're going, oh, I don't want to come now that mom's going to do something I don't like. But the good news is there are some more tips and tricks I can show you. But remember guys, you have to practice. This is a lifelong skill. If your dog is not coming when called, put them on a leash, work on this. It will get there, okay? So I'm gonna flip this camera around and I'm gonna hopefully be able to walk, video, talk, and uh, give CJ treats all at once, but we'll see how this goes, okay? So I've got CJ out here and we are just walking along the trails and I still haven't flipped the camera around. See, we're, we're doing great today. <laughs> so we're just walking and what I'm going to do is every time he checks in with me willingly, I'm not even gonna ask anything of him. I'm not gonna say his name, but anytime he looks in at, at me, he's probably gonna poop. So hang on, we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we're back. Poop has happened and been picked up. So, every time my dog willingly checks in with me, which that just means he just looks back at me. He can be out ahead of me. Again, I have him on a nice 15 foot long line. And anytime he stops what he's doing or he chooses to look at me, I am going to yes and pay him because he chose to look at me instead of anything else in the universe. And you have to be paying attention to your dogs for this, guys. You can't just be on your phone or whatever. So you're walking along, you're walking along, and then he chooses to stop and look at you. Yes, good boy. And then he comes back to get a yummy treat and we continue on our way. And he gets to go back to smelling and doing what he loves. But anytime I'm out on a walk and my dog checks in with me, a yes and pay them. Yes, good boy. Yeah, you heard that first. Yes, huh? good boy. This helps build that relationship of if you check in with me, you're going to get something good. Now, I know a lot of you guys also don't want to carry treats with you forever. But guess what? Just do it. Yes, good boy. Good job. It helps with that relationship. You don't work for free. Our dogs shouldn't either. If you want your dog to come to you when they're called or even just check in with you, you have to be more exciting than the environment. I, yes, good boy, good job. I currently am not more exciting than the environment on my own. I'm just not. But because I've got CJ's favorite treats in the universe, he is willing to check in with me. CJ, if we're gonna continue videoing, we're gonna turn around. Mommy can't walk on ice and video and walk you, okay? Yes, good boy, come here. Oh, good job, good boy. 
So that's one little tidbit to help pay for those volunteer check-ins that your dog just offers you naturally out on a walk. Good boy. You're probably also saying, well, what if my dog doesn't voluntarily check in? Well, what you can do is you can teach them to, yes. Good boy. And all it does is you take him for a walk. No, it's got to be naughty for a second. Go ahead. Go up ahead. Go ahead. And when they are not looking at you, CJ, yes, good boy. You say their name just once, and once they look at you, you yes and pay. So again, they're learning to just check in with mom or dad or whoever's walking and get something yummy. And that will help with your coming when called. Sorry for the traffic noise. CJ, come. In this video, you'll see that I am able to call CJ off of his yes. favorite toy oh, in the boy. universe. I am able to do that because we have practiced okay. for Look at your toy. years that coming when called means you're going to get something good, but it also means that the fun is not going to stop. This is CJ's favorite toy in the universe, and I am able to call him off of it because I have practiced and I have always rewarded him for the hard work. That means I always have treats on me. I know that's not the answer you guys want to hear, but you have to pay your CJ, dog come. for the hard work they're doing. I also give CJ, CJ a chance to think about what I am asking him to do. If your dog is struggling okay, with go get this, your toy. You would need to be practicing this on a long line. That way, they can't wander off and they have to come yeah, back cool. to you. Practice, patience, and consistency. And of course, a little cheese. One last little tip for coming when called, because I'm sure somebody's going to say it. Well, I had cheese, or I had chicken, or maybe you even had steak, and my dog still wouldn't come to me. Well, guess what? You are doing fantastic, first of all, because if you had steak, I'd probably come when you called me too. But our dog may not find that more rewarding or more reinforcing than the environment. Your dog may love chicken or they may love steak at home, but if they're getting those really good things at home, when you take them outside, even into your backyard or on a walk, they're not as exciting anymore. Because, hey, I got that chicken or I got that cheese at home, but now I want to explore the world and smell everything. That doesn't mean anything to me anymore. So only use high value items when you're out on a walk. Don't use them at home. On top of all of this, your dog may not be hungry. And if your dog is not hungry, they're not gonna wanna work for food. They're gonna wanna keep smelling or not listen to mom. So be more excited, throw a little dance party, be more animated, even use a higher pitch tone in your voice. Also, think about carrying some of their favorite toys with you or just one, you don't have to carry more than one, but anything that's gonna be a little bit more exciting than the environment. So if I know I'm going to be working on coming when called with my dog around dinner time, I'm only gonna feed him about half of his dinner. So that way he's not full and he wants to work for food, but he's also not starving. I know if I'm starving, I don't wanna work. So don't go out into a training session with a dog that's starving or one that's full. Kind of find that sweet spot and work in there. So these are just some tips and tricks, guys. But coming when called is one of the hardest skills to teach your dog. And like I said earlier in this video, it is a lifetime skill. You can't expect your six month old puppy to know that every time you call, they need to come. Additionally, until about three years old, your dog is still kind of an adolescent, a teenager, if you will. 
So they're exploring their world and trying to see what they can get away with. So I really recommend investing in a quality long line, keeping your dog on that leash through these periods until they really learn what coming when called means. I know that's not what anybody really wants to hear. They want to give their dog that unlimited freedom and they want their dog to just come to you because they want to. Unfortunately, guys, that's not how this works. You have to teach your dog what it means. You also have to have them earn that freedom of being off the leash. So take your time, be patient, your dog will get there if you are consistent and you are patient and you're having fun with it. So I hope this video helps. If you continue to struggle, as always, you know where to reach me.